Hello, uh, people out there in podcast land. We have a blast from the past. <clears throat> First, I'm going to ring in Mr. Midnight Movie, who will be with me for a while. Oh, you shut up and hurry up. <clears throat> Is my hero on? He's fixing to be right now. Here he comes. Here he comes. Andy? Hey, how are you doing? How are you doing? Whoa! Can you hear me? Please start your webcam. Hi, Andy! Hey, hey Debbie, hey, Mr. Midnight Movie, how are you hey, doing? Hey, Debbie made steak nachos. Yes, yes I, do. I do. How are you doing? We haven't heard from you in so long. Are you okay? What's going on with you, Andy? This is Andy Bong, everybody. Hey, guys. My name is Andy Bong. I've just been busy. My company is taking off. Uh, so I've been busy so much that it's it's so great to be back on Spreaker.com. I miss it. I miss talking to people here. Uh, got a brand. I have two brand new shows, Interview with Andy and Dance Party. So tune in because it's going to be great. It is great to be back on speaker.com. Finally. It's, what do you think of uh, Trump's president? I'm sorry, Debbie. I was going to No, no, what no. Do no you think of, what do you think of Donald Trump winning the presidency? That was an interesting uh when I was I was watching the election closely and I thought it was a good I I think it was good. You couldn't write the script better. You couldn't. Recently, there are riots, by the way, and uh, I, told, I just told Debbie about this. There are riots at UC Berkeley. They are stopping a gentleman by the name of Mio, Mio, Milo Yiannopoulos from talking. And I think Stabby is one of the, uh, the protesters. So, uh, yeah. Interesting, interesting. These protesters need to stop because they are damaging the city. They're damaging the goods. They're damaging everything. And I don't get the protesters, but you know what? It's... You know what? I don't bother with the protesters because I I really see their point of view to tell the truth. But in other sense that we just need to have peace. You know what? You're right. So long as they're peaceful protests, but uh, in my opinion, if they get unpeaceful, I'm there with a bag of uh, about a thousand Cheetos to shove right up the rectum. I, I don't think that's going to work, but you know what? Good luck with that. Hey, Debbie, okay. so how are you doing? I'm doing good. Doing real good. Just, uh, we have, we've had several people asking, where's Andy? What happened to Andy? Where's Andy? Whatever happened to Andy? And I never know what to tell them. I told some people that you do call me sometimes on Skype and say, hey, let's do a show or whatever. And I just haven't ever caught you. And this is the first time I actually caught you. Yeah, I cannot, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm really, really awesome, I'm really, really awesome. I. You are awesome. You are, we have missed you, man, we have missed you so hard. You know what I miss about you, Andy? I miss the innocence and the honesty, and it, that's hard to find in people. Oh, yeah, we, I, I remember... I remember some great old battles between you and me. I, I can remember those great old battles, but you know what? I am so glad these battles are done. <sighs> yeah. Have, have you talked much to Deshaun Porter anymore, Andy? No, I don't, to tell the truth. He got married have, to somebody that looked like his grandma, and then she died. That's too bad. Yeah. yeah. Have, okay. So you, have you ever written him a check? No. Have you asked, ever written him a check? Well, because he's asked, uh, he never asked me for money, but he ha I think he's asked yours truly, Debbie, daily for money. He has. Yes, he has. He's asked me for money. He was kind of like that with a lot of people. I mean, he said he was going to run for office and he needed $5,000 and then he said he needed to go to college and he needed money for tuition. And it's just always one thing after another. I think he's just panhandling for money. Mm -hmm. He is entertaining, though, I think sometimes. Yeah, he's been doing uh, podcasting again on Spreaker.com. Did you and him have a falling out, Andy? You know what? Uh, I like the sound part, don't get me wrong. But you know what? Uh, 
he he needs to figure out what he's doing in his life. Yep. I'm sorry. Uh, don't get me wrong. I am I am the nicest person you will ever meet, and I have a big heart. But when someone asks for money, and someone says this or someone says that, then I have a little problem with that because I don't. I don't ask for money. I really seldom do ask for any help. You know me, Debbie. I don't ask for help, right? No. Never. Mr. Midnight Moon, did I ever ask for help? Never. You've never asked me for money. But slide those nachos over, baby. Those are those are looking good. What nachos does he have? I don't have any nachos. Oh, okay. Just kidding. It's a metaphor. What I'm saying is that I never ask for anything. I never ask for help. I never ask for anything. But for some odd reason, Deshaun Porter thinks that, oh, poor me, I need to do this, I need to do that. I really do need money. He's a, pa- I know he is a pastor at one time. He's a religious folk. Oh, yeah, he tried that. He tried getting money off of people by saying, send him money because he's a pastor. And you know what? <laughs> to tell the truth, I never understood that. That's horrible. Mm-hmm. He was on iHeart, and I never got on iHeart, and that pissed me off. Why, why is this guy who shills ask me for, for money all the time? Um, uh, wait. Sorry. What happened? I, I just love talking to myself. I No, I'm just talking to myself. I love talking to myself. Is that your mom? I love you, too. Is that your mom? Am I back? Was that your mom? Yeah. I knew you were going to get in trouble. I knew it. Oh, I did not get in trouble. I just love talking to myself. I always talk to myself for some reason. Like, I, I talk to myself in my sleep because I can't go to sleep. So, my mom is like, okay, who are you talking to? Oh, never mind. You're talking to yourself. Okay. I just don't want you to get in trouble because I know sometimes she gets mad when you talk to people on podcasts. It, it's funny because I... I do that now, and I have a conversation by myself. I pretend I'm, I'm at a war show, or, or I pretend to, to to be a uh, big shot. I just have conversations with myself, and it's scary sometimes. The I stuff understand. that it comes out of my mouth. You know, the funny thing about it is, is I think who ruined that for for you was Pimpat. Whenever he started calling your dad at home and stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was horrible. Mm-hmm. It was terrible. I was, I was there. I, I saw it happen. You know what? There is some times in my life that if I went back in time, I would change something. I would. If I went back in time, I would change something about my past or about my future. But you know what? The the way everything was set up. You didn't deserve that, though, Andy. No, no. Let me, let me, let me, let me finish, okay? Okay. Go ahead. The way that was set up, the way that was set up, I could not write for a script because I am a photographer. I work for the African Downtown Inc. I'm, I am, I am a very good photographer, and and I'm a very good friend. So if that had, if that part of my life did not happen, where would I be right now? Would I be a Deshaun Porter or would I be a pin pad calling random people saying, hey, 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 or a stalker? What would I be right now if that did not happen? Don't you understand? Debbie? Well, I think it's wrong what they did to you. And I think that the news guy was involved in that some way or another. I don't know how, but he was definitely on the show when it happened. And they were getting his, you know... Andy got upset at Pimpad and jumped on him one day in the in Snoozy's chat room. And for that, he was calling his father and doing all this horrible stuff. And I'm sure that Andy got in a lot of trouble for it. Oh, yeah, I did. And I bet that was part of why they said, don't talk to people on podcast on Spreaker anymore. Bingo. I knew it. But you know what? It's funny. Uh... I am just enjoying myself right now. So I are am, you doing podcasts again on Spreaker or what? I am doing a radio show on Spreaker. I just did my first radio show. With music? Yes. 
Do you remember these drops that you did for us one time? Here's one of them. I <laughs> know it's funny. Listen to this one. Can you save me? <coughs> Jesus, I love you. No kid's gonna get my fill because Jesus, I love you. Like a like a can you save me? I'm turning in to see of my own sin. Like a like a can you save me? I'm turning in to see of my own sin. Like a like a can you rescue me? Rescue me from myself. Rescue me from the devil. Rescue me from my own way. I know I can deserve your glory or your praise. So like a like a can you save me? I woke up at 6 o'clock a.m. I couldn't believe it was finally here. You're quite the singer, Andy. <laughs> yes, it cute. is. I'm working on a brand new song. Are you really? Would you like to debut it for us, Andy? <laughs> okay, let's see if we can You're going to get in trouble if she hears you. Oh, I've been practicing this song. One, two. She's staring at the crossroad and she's all alone. She has no idea what's going on. So I'm begging you, ma'am. I'm down on my knees. I will take her punishment. That's my rule. She's staring at the crossroad and she has no clue. She's crying out. Can someone hear, hear me? So I'm begging you, ma'am, and I'm begging you, sir. I will take her punishment, but that's my rule. She's staring at the crossroads, and she's all alone. She has no idea what's going on. So I'm begging you, please. I'm down on my knees. I will take her punishment. That's my rule. Not sing, bad, man. Not that's, bad. That's not bad at all. You sang a song on my show one time that was like that, and I forgot where it went. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Um, I, the, that was part of the song. I'm trying to figure out what the rest of the song is. So, Hey, what's the weather out there like? <clears throat> the weather is cold. And frightful, but the the snow is frightful. Let it slow, let it slow, let it. <laughs> is it snowing? No, I'm sorry. I was trying to do something stupid, and it blew up in your face. You know, it was 80 degrees out here. Okay, I don't like you. You know that, right? <laughs> yeah, it's warm here too. It's real you warm. Both suck. Yeah, it's very warm here. That's why people live in Texas. That's why people move to Texas and California. Wait a minute. I think I might have found that it's called Andy Bong Remix. Let's see what this is. From my life, I don't know why you took the nails. To my heart, I don't know why you hide yourself upon that cross, but I had to tell you something. I want to hang on your cross, I want to feel the light inside me, I want to live with you. Don't nail me to Jesus Christ, nail my hands to the cross. Near my feet to the cross I want to live by the way of the true king but I, I thought that was very good. That was put together by our producer at the time. I mean, it was amazing how it went to that music. Uh, yeah, it was. It was amazing. It was so amazing right now. Yeah, because you just did that all on the whim, and you didn't even, you weren't even trying to do anything. You were just doing that, you know, on a whim. Yeah, 
yeah, I was trying to do that on the whim, and it actually turned out good. It did. It turned out really good, I thought. Mm -hmm. So what else is new with you? Did you hear about Kevin Kierstead? Who's that? On Spreaker. He used to be called KTAP. Do you remember him? Mm -mm. Oh, then you won't remember him. He committed suicide. Yeah, I know. He was, it was sad. I don't know if you knew about that. That was in March of, two, of 2016. I don't know how long you've been gone. I was, uh, I've been all, ugh, I have no idea, but seriously. Somebody talking to you again? No. Oh. Talking to myself again. Oh, okay. Sorry. So say something, Mr. Midnight Movie. You know, I, I am, um, I'm thrilled to have you, you, you back and talking to you again. Have you seen any good movies lately? I have seen very good movies lately. Now, have you, seen, have you seen Rogue One? Yes, I have. What did you think of it? I liked it. I heard it was pretty good. I have, I'm, look at this. I don't What's know that? if you see this. This is my Star Wars pillow. Oh. I'm a big Star Wars nut. There we go, there we go. I heard this was kind of, I mean, um, that it was pretty intense. Oh, yeah, it was. Is that the one where at the very end, uh, Princess Leia hands the, hands the saber to... Um, what no, the, no, uh, no totally oh. different story. Okay, sorry. Mr. Midnight yeah. Movie's quite a Star Wars fan, too. Y'all should talk about it. Y'all could probably get a good dialogue going here. Well, I saw Star Wars. I think Debbie saw it too when it first came out. We're a little, little bit older. Maybe she's a little younger, but I saw Star Wars when it first came out in 1977. The first time I saw Star Wars, I was married to Victor, so I didn't see it when it came out. Hmm. I wasn't I interested. Like the, I like the way they set up all these movies, but for some reason, they should have went with. If they were smart, they would went with Star Wars World One first, and yeah. then go into the original Star Wars because it just screwed everybody up. Because this takes time. Uh, this takes time. This takes place during the time of the New Hope. Oh yeah, and it it that could have been better if you put Rogue One first and then put all the Star Wars movies after that. That would come in handy. Hi, Audrey. Hi, other Steve, and hi, Sunnyvale Network. Dave from Sunnyvale Network. Welcome to the uh, welcome to the live show, sweeties. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Andy Bonham from Andy's Productions. Peace. Now, what kind of things do you do at Andy Andy's Productions, Andy? Um, I'm a photographer. Hmm. Hey, show Billy Hilton on radio. How are you? Oh, Andy, God. Andy, would you ever? And I, and I want to ask it again. Would you ever work for Playboy? Mr. Midnight Movie, you know that question. Why did you ask it? <laughs> Just to see if you cha would change your answer. You know what? If someone called me up, I would do it in a heartbeat to tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I can't lie. No, I would do it in a heartbeat. Okay. Now, I heard that Playboy has uh, is no longer around. I could be wrong. Well, now they have... Uh, Playboy TV. Yeah. They've had that for a while. Yeah, that does not make sense. I think Playboy is trying to get into the cami business now. You, you know might what, be right. Do you know what cami is, anybody? Yeah, yes I do. You know what cami is, right? We, we, know, we know one of the most famous uh, uh, cam, um, cam models ever, right, Debbie? <laughs> If if nobody knows what Cammy is, Cammy is a hot new thing that is that that young girls get there's Cammy sites like my free camps or something completely different uh, where girls get sexy and does these weird things to get tokens. So Cammy has been a big thing now of these days. Uh, like Spreaker dot com, it mm -hmm. or Law Talk Radio was is big but now cami is like becoming the number one thing for girls to do yes it is and, you know that would be a good thing for playboy but i don't think they're doing it you know i'm going to suggest that to playboy that they they have a campsite now i'm a little yeah. hesitant 
I'm a little hesitant on that. Camming, I'm a little hesitant on that level. Yeah, Cam, yeah. I'm a little hesitant, but I can see that camming is good for girls who has low self-esteem and wants to be powerful. I understand that, but on the other hand, uh, you know me, Mr. Midnight Movie, and you know me, W. Daily. My brain is warp. Well, all men, all men's brains are warped. But the thing about Cammy is, um, I mean, some of them make money. They do it primarily to make money. Self-esteem has nothing to do with it. I think a lot of these women uh, probably have rather high self-esteem because they're taking off all their clothes and uh, showing what they got. It, it's funny. Uh, there's a site called My Free Cams. If Has anybody heard of that yet, My Free Cams? I've heard of that. Um but it's not that my, my go-to site. If, if, Andy, if have you been going to myfreecams.com like Mr. Solution used to? Uh, yes, you I've been, have. How do you know? I'm just joking. No, Magic. I didn't. Magic. Who's calling you? An old friend of yours, the Angry Bong. Oh, boy. Hey, Angry Bong, what's up? Hello, Andy. I see you're still using my name. <laughs> hey, hey, my name. Back off. I don't want to have to sue you, Andy. Um, you know what? I will. I don't want to sue you either, my friend. Well, how old are you, Andy? Uh, I'm not going to tell. How old are you? I'm 47, and I'm older than you, so that means I was. This was my name first. <laughs> what, what year were you born? Yes, Andy Bond. What year were you born? Born. I believe that was directed to you. Uh, now, wait a minute. Andy, aren't you like... He's not going to be mean to you, sweetie. He comes in peace. He's a good guy. Okay, Is, I am 29 years old. I thought you were 30. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm 29. Andy and with Free Cam Girls. <laughs> David. Do you remember a guy named David from Sunnyvale Network? David. Rings a bell, but no, I don't remember. Yeah, he says hi. Hey, David, what's up? But yeah, I. How come you're getting your picture taken with the the premier of uh, uh, Ontario, Andy? In your picture there. What? What? Did that's you say? That, that's not the premier of Ontario. You're shaking hands with his avatar. Let me look. <clears throat> yeah. uh, Andy, oh. let's see. Who is that in your picture on on Skype, sweetie? Oh, my avatar. Oh. That's my, uh, oh, I completely forgot about that picture. Who is that? Yeah. That's my uh, friend, Gail, who I, I, I used to be chamber, Indo Conifos Chamber of Commerce. Okay. Does she have anything to do with Canada? Nope. Okay. Just, he was wondering. I keep popping my silly putty that I'm playing with. So, just so I know where to stay away from, Andy. Where where would I might find some of these cam sites so I know not to go there? Thanks a lot, Dubby. Well, well, I can I can mention that uh, he said cam was it my free cams and also Pornhub also has a lot of cams. Really, on there. Pornhub, and they get even nastier. Really? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> to tell the, uh, Debbie Daly, to tell you the truth, yes, I do go to those cam sites. But, <gasps> but the sad part is, I help with Andy. It. That's horrible. Let you me know what, Andy? Let him explain. Come on, Andy. he's got a chance to defend himself. Don't, don't tell Debbie, Andy, but I go to them sometimes too. <clears throat> okay, Debbie, I'm a room helper. <laughs> Do you know what a room helper is, Debbie? I don't know what. They're the guys that keep the bad guys away from models. Wait people. a minute. Andy. You're in there doing that shit? Are you kidding me, Andy? What? It, no. Andy's there not to look at the girls. He's there to keep the creeps from bothering the girls. Yeah. I don't even right. pay attention. The sad part is, usually I'm on my... I'm usually... I'm usually on my internet explorer doing my production stuff. I don't. Mm. You don't even you don't watch even the walk. cam. You don't, you don't even look walk. and see what they're doing then. Yeah, oh. that's good. So, 
Now, Andy, ask me if I believe you. <clears throat> I believe you, Andy. <laughs> Thank you. Do you believe me, Debbie? Hell no. Well, that's all right. I don't care. <gasps> Andy. If you don't believe me, it, it's... I right. think you look at the naughty girls. Mm-mm. Well, sometimes you you would have to look just to, so oh, you can see yeah, the chat. Yeah. Duh. Yeah. But, like in the chat. Yeah. But the sad part is, Debbie, my, my brain is warped. I see them as... Sisters? Them, yes, and brothers. Like, mm-hmm. for example, Debbie, if I... If you... Let's say that you wanted to... Wanted to host a radio show, a live radio show. You're going to need someone to help you block people. That would be me. I see them as brothers and sisters, as sisters and sisters, not like, oh. Are, are, are we, are we supposed to be naked right now? Debbie, can you get on webcam right now, please? Please. Why do you want me on webcam right now? Well, we want to, we want to see how Andy acts towards some of these ladies. I'm not going to take my clothes off. <laughs> we won't look. We'll just watch the chat. Quit being a prude. <laughs> well, I'll just take our shirts off then. Yeah, okay. I'll oh. wear a bra. Okay, Debbie? He <laughs> <laughs> likes that. That's pretty funny. <laughs> 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 That's mean. Sorry. It's okay. Oh my gosh, you're funny. You're funny. I thought he had a hoop. Oh, jeez. Now, me and Andy talked about this before, about him mm-hmm. doing this. And I think it's, well, a lot of people wouldn't say this, but I'm going to say it. I think you're a hero, Andy. For what? Well, for protecting those girls. There's a lot of creeps out there in those sites. Oh, you got to be kidding. Yeah, you're right. Yeah? I'm... And I don't get it why, why, why Debbie is up in arms about that. I don't get what? it. What? Debbie, think, I think Debbie <laughs> thinks you're a hero, too. Yeah, now that she knows. She knows you're not in there looking at the girls. The, yeah. the way that Debbie said, the way that I said it, you understood that I helped. But Debbie jumped on my phone saying, how dare you do that? Wait a minute, wait a minute, how wait a minute. Do you do that? That's, That's only because that. Joe said that behind your back. Huh? What? <laughs> no, no, wait, Debbie. What? If you can get on, if, you can get, if, if we can all get on webcam and 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 and, and, uh, and Andy can show us how he reacts to one of these ladies, I think that would clear the air. Yeah, he could just like go to the site. Okay, we could watch like, him and what? we'd see that he doesn't get excited. <clears throat> yeah. How do you all do this? This is what I do. Watch the chat room in your. What's the Skype chat? Okay. If I can spell. So you sort of regulate the bad guys and say, hey there, you stop being mean. This is what I do for... What's the next topic? Well, what'd you say? Put a thousand Cheetos up my ass. How dare you? (laughs) What's the next I do that or I do this. I think you're a regulator. I'm just going to... Give it that, or you're a regulator. Now, we David, David from Sunnyvale Network says, <clears throat> Andy comes with, Joe comes with maple syrup and maple syrup and Canadian bacon. Huh? And uh, he, that's from David. <laughs> he didn't say that. Andy, uh, we just, uh, uh, JP and I did a show uh, about a man who uh, died by horse sodomy. What do you think about that? <laughs> Ugh, are you kidding? What? That's gross. Okay. No, change that is topic. horrible. Oh my god, that's terrible. Can we change topic, please? Have you seen the video? Okay, Mr. Midnight Moon, please. <laughs> Someone change topics. I don't care. That's What's really pretty topic? grotesque if you think about it. It really it, is. That's it, so it, it, okay, l- l- let's just find out. You live in farm country, right, Andy? No. There's not a lot of farms around where you live? I thought there would be in Wisconsin. Is he in Wisconsin? I always thought he was. 
It was 80 degrees here in sunny California. I know it's unseasonably warm everywhere. <clears throat> where did Andy take up? Where are you, Andy? We can't hear him. We can see him. They He's said that the him. video is called Two Guys, One Horse. Yes, he dies, by the way. Oh, Jesus. Ugh, that's a horrible. You remember Two Girls, One Cop? Wasn't that a classic? Yes, no, it look was. at my pictures I just made on uh, for my look. Look on the screen up here. Oh my heavens! Who's your buddy? Who's your pal? That's me. Okay, well, that's oh. just wrong. Now let me show you this one I made. I made. Don't put her near the horse. That's Wait. Just yeah. wrong. Wait, and then look at this one. <laughs> Mr. Aid's revenge. Oh, you can God. smack her butt and then smack some face. <clears throat> All in one hit. Yeah. Oh my God. And then I made... I'm going to put bologna on it. I made another one. I haven't opened it yet. Where did it go? Hold on. I see when I open it. It's this one. Where did it go? This is brought to you by W. Daly. Where did it go? I, ordered, I opened another one. I don't know where it went. Anyway, it was a download. I had another one. I thought. I don't know where it went. Anyway. Oh, well. <clears throat> I don't know where it went. The other one. I don't know what happened to it. Yeah, you, you do know, these things right here. They're, they're so funny. It's called Face in the Hole. It's really funny. What else? What were we talking about? I have no idea. Talking about Andy saving the virtue of those poor girls on the cams? Yes. I've never, seen, I've never seen two guys, one horse. Is it bad? It's pretty shocking. What ha I mean, is it like? is it like really, really, really bad? He dies. Yeah, Two well, you know, horse. that's a lot, not a lot of horse. Uh, mm -hmm. There's no way I can watch this. Let me just see what it looks like. I'm not ready. It's videotaping. No way. No way. If it's what I think they're, if it's going to happen, are they going to make this horse have sex with this guy? That's, oh, yeah. Please turn it. Ugh, <laughs> that's gross. Ugh. You're going to give Andy nightmares. Oh, that's hair. That's hard. And you'll never go horseback riding again. Mm -hmm. That's terrible. Who would do something like that? That's gross. That's well, terrible. you got you got to, you know, the horse probably appreciated it. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. horrible. The guy thought he was in for a thrill of a lifetime, and uh, yeah. only one lifetime. Yeah, he got his, you know, he got reamed. Giddy up, you're dead. You know, mm -hmm. and, you know. Let's be honest, like. Every man is dreamt to like doing that to a woman, right? So doing what? You know, like humping her to death. <laughs> like that'd be like a hell of a rap, you know. What are you in for? I screwed this woman to death, you know. Yeah. Well, maybe if she only plays dead. Is it a it's gay called, it's called marriage? Is it a gay person? I mean is well, it I would gay? have to think. <laughs> you know. We did do a show, a three-minute show on it, by the way. Hmm. Or sodomy is what we called it. <laughs> oh, can uh, okay, can okay. What we're talking about, or what the heck is going on? Nothing. Snowballing. Okay. Uh, why am I the only one on cam? Debbie. Well, I don't. You've got a cam. You turn your cam on. Holy cow. I, I never turn mine on, and I never ask anybody to turn theirs on. No, you don't have to turn your, your, your cam on. Uh, yeah. It, it's well, just, thanks. Well, no, okay. I feel pretty. Let's try this. Let's see if we can do this. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the W Daily Show. My name is Andy Barn, and it is f finally Andy Barn has come back to Spreaker.com. We are live from the Spreaker quarters. With Debbie Daly, Mr. Midnight Movie, and Ian Angry Bomb. Let's find out what's going on <clears throat> in the Debbie Daly show. Yes, Joe Seeker. We call him Joe Seeker. What is the most popular show on Spreaker, I wonder? The most popular show has to be Radio Mafia Roundup. Radio Chris Immaculata. Chris Nelson. I think Chris Nelson is one of the greatest. Shows of all time. Chris Nelson, Imagine. Imagination. Imagination, yes. Yes. 
Yeah, well, you never know what you're going to get out of him. That's for sure. Oh, he's a, he's magnificent. <laughs> yeah, he's a he's a roller coaster of emotions. That fella. Oh my god. <laughs> He's ready to tell him talk about life and don't commit suicide. And then he's next minute he's got the razor to his throat, ready to yep. jump. <laughs> he's ready to jump. He's ready to jump. Jump in the ocean. January in the ocean uh, was one of his shows. <laughs> Last night he called into Debbie's and got in, called in. Front, he was walking through the ocean. Yes. When he, when he finished his show, he, he called into Debbie's and you couldn't hear him. And fuck it, it was they got a bit of a tiff. Yeah, uh, cooking on three burners, what side was that by all side. About? What was that all about? I don't know. I'd have to say one of the burners is dead on his stove. Scientific evidence of the human soul. That has seven, uh, 766 listens. Yeah, he was he buying buys listeners. A, or he told me himself he was buying listeners. Buying bots or something, whatever you call it. Jeez. Right. Imagine there's like three Chinese women over in fucking China somewhere that when they go on their smoke break, they talk about this crazy guy in fucking Florida. <laughs> this closet it, gay in Florida that does a show. Isn't yeah. it somebody that has, they have people that have like almost like call centers that, that they all log in and hit your website or something like that, how they do that. I really don't know how it's done. but I think that's how they do it, Debbie. They have like a place set up where they have a bunch of computers yeah. and you hire them and then they, they fucking boost your numbers and post and do whatever you hire them to do. Here's my problem with that. Why would somebody want to do that? Because it's not real listeners. Yeah. Well, the same reason why some guys stuff socks down their pants before they go to the bar, you know? Yeah. It gives them a, you know, a false sense of something, but ultimately when I guess. the brass tax comes off and, you know, it's showtime, you know, you're standing there with just a, just a little show. <laughs> and it's too late to back down now. Yeah. Hey, Steve Rush, what's up? How are you doing? Where's Steve Rush at? In the chat room. I don't Steve, know if this Steve is a real Rush. Steve Rush or a fake one. Love you long time, one angry Jew. That's pretty good, Steve, for Steve. Who is Sir Dirk, uh, Dirk Beauregard? I mean, I know he was an actor, but who is he in this thing? I think it's Stabby, but... Somebody that's a holier than thou. Mm. Well, whoever it is, they're... For a while, I thought it was cowpoke, but they, they seem to, they, they know too much, like the Bible and things like that. So, oh. the Stabby's, one thing about Stabby is Stabby, Stabby's well read. Oh my gosh. What? That brings back memories when we had Bible stuff and one, and both of you went off the handle with that one. Who did? Run and read you with the Bible and you, you went back and forth with the Bible stuff. Like, no, this is not in the Bible. No, this is not in the... It was a battle. Wow. I remember the Bible one with him, her and Mr. Solutions. Oh, Mr. Solution, not my name. Mr. Solution, holy crap. That was... There's, yeah. Yeah. There's a whole backstory that goes back years between Solution, uh, Debbie, JP... One angry, Goofy Bone. Does anybody know, is Goofy Bone still on this thing yep. or not? <clears throat> yep. He is. He's, he's doing the, the the Mexican ghost show. Wow. <sighs> I have missed a lot. Yeah, but, his show is still just rotten as ever, though. El Ghosto, I call it. <laughs> yeah, that's all he does. <laughs> Actually, I shouldn't say that because I... I've had some good times in Goofy Bones chats. <laughs> Politically, we we don't line up. Right. Who doesn't line up with Goofy anyway? Who doesn't line up? That's what I'm thinking. Does she? Does he still have Chewbacca, or did he just cancel that one? No, that's his engineer. Ah, okay. Thank you. That's Sorry. how he copies Ghost's engineer. Is it's Chewbacca? Because engineer is just Ghost going. Rah, rah, like that, and so he has Chewbacca. Everything he does I, is a copycat. I have Uncle Bobby. 
No, you don't. Yeah, that's what I say when I do it. I say Uncle Bobby, but his mic's not working in the booth. <laughs> I just think you should be more original than that. You know. Hey, I'm on my radio show. I try and keep it original. I have some awesome music from from Glee to Billy Joe, Billy Joe to Foreigner, Hot Blooded. Well, that sounds like party. a fucking good time. Oh yeah, it is a dance party. Ah, uh, I'm just. I love music, and if I could make someone like dancing and all kinds of stuff, it would be the coolest thing ever. I do, you, do, you, do you dance at all? Do you dance yourself, uh, Andy? Yeah, not that good, but yeah, in my own room, I do air guitar. Yes. Have you ever danced the, the lombada? No. Debbie, have you? What is the limbada? I don't know. How about dirty? How about dirty dancing? La 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 bamba. La 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 bamba. La 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 bamba. La 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 bamba. That's what they say. Right now, I wish I had those little thumb tambourines. Sorry, that's what they say. You mean little maracas, whatever they call them? Yeah. Oh, by the way, just a minute here. I want to sing a song to you. Did you ever hear of One Call Away, Debbie Daly? Called what? One Call Away. Away? No. Yeah, One Call Away. <clears throat> I'm only one call away. I'll be there to save the day. Superman got nothing I mean. I'm only one call away. Come, baby, if you need a friend. I just want to give you love. Come on, come on, come on. Reaching out to you, so take a chance. No matter where you go. You know, you always know, I'm only one call away. I'll be there to save the day. Superman got nothing on me. I'm only one call away. Come along with me and don't be scared. I just want to set you free. Come on, come on, come on. You and me can make it anyway. For now we can and stay here for a while. Because you know I just want you to smile. No matter where you go. You know you're not alone. I'm only one call away. I'll be there to save. The day Superman got nothing on me. I'm only one. I'm only one. Call away. Thank you. That was a lovely song. song. is fucking beautiful, man. Very lovely song. It is by Charlie. It's by Charlie. I will. I will. uh, I'm going to need a tissue. Yes. Oh. You know what, Andy? You know, you know what's sad about my shows, and I put them on YouTube. Andy, uh, the only shows that really uh, get a lot of hits, and they only listen for about fifteen seconds, are the shows that involve uh, sexuality. Yeah. Oh my god. Mister Midnight Movies got to talk dirty to get listeners. I do. I'm putting this thing in the chat room. Here's the song. Yeah. I cannot believe I cannot believe that you guys had the Jew on your show. How desperate! How desperate! He called me, and I thought he was going to give insight about uh, when did you when did you find that out? He was posting it all in my chat room, saying that y'all were talking bad about me and all this stuff. And no, you weren't. That's not true. He's a big fat liar. He's pathetic. Oh boy. You even said on your show we would never talk bad about Debbie. We like Debbie. She's our good friend. Yeah. Yeah, no. I mean, I thought he was going to talk about bipolar disorder. He's obsessed with mental illness. I'm, yeah, I'm only upset. For me, 
Now, I'm only obsessed with mental illness just due to the fact that a person with mental illness owes me money. He was trying to make out like I had mental illness. I have mental illness. Do you really? Are you bipolar? Yeah, I would say so, yeah. I just suppress it with bong hits. There you go. Do you have violent tendencies? Uh, not so much anymore. I used to when I was younger a lot, you know. Pretty aggressive fella. Me too. I wasn't Look. aggressive. I'd, I'd antagonize and then I'd fight them. Oh. Right. What's going on? Yeah, Dennis died to calls in and he never mutes the he never mutes the show first. All right, I'll mute I'll mute it now. Thank you. All right, thank thank you for taking my call, uh, Mr. Midnight. Oh, it's Debbie. It's yeah. Oh, Deb took it. All right. Yes, she did. Okay, I see Mr. Midnight. I'm on his connection, but um, in any regard, I'll mute myself right now. Thank you. Uh, if you could just mute, stop the show. Yeah, if you could just stop the show play in the background, that would be a lot better. Hey, you can hear the show in your headphones. Yeah. Yeah. If I wanted to hear my own voice, I would turn on my 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 you would sing again. Show. There is that better. Oh, that's much better. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. All right, very now nice. I'll be quiet again. Thank you. Well, okay. if you're going to call in, you need to have something to say. Don't just call in and go on mute. You can listen to the show in the chat room. No, yeah. but. Debbie, I, I'd like to see your screenshots. Okay, but I'm not showing anything right now. I'm just kind yeah, of sitting know. here, not doing well, anything. The, the only way I can check the way I, I know of it is is if, if I have to call into the show through Skype to see your screenshots. But we're not showing anything right now. I know. I just didn't know that you, you were or not. Oh, okay. But anyway, hey, Joe. <laughs> hey, Mr. Minnie. Hey. Hello. Hey. Everything all right? Oh, sure. Hello, hello, yeah. hello. So we're doing Kambalaya or what? <laughs> no, we're just sitting here on our normal Skype show that we do at night that apparently is fairly popular. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right, I don't that's... think it was as popular as uh, my show, Face Sitting or Death, which has 13,431 views. Uh, oh. I don't know about that. Like I said last night, we are a colorful box of crayons. <laughs> is mar- is pot legal in uh, Canada? No, it's going to be soon, though. So, so is California. It's going to be legal in California. Sorry, Debbie. Well, we can get our licenses, though, eh, Joe? <laughs> yeah, you can. It's pretty well. Like, I never ever went and got a medical license because I didn't ever want to put myself in a database. Right, because I just don't believe in that. But yeah. uh, you can just pay thirty dollars, go to the doctor, get him to fill out the paper, and you can get your card, and you're good to go. Mm-hmm. And that's just cool. I yeah. got a guy who's a vet from Afghanistan, a buddy, mm-hmm. and uh, Veterans Affairs Canada buys him ten grams a day. He gets seven grams of THC, and he gets. Mm-hmm. Three grams of CB, uh, CBHC. That stuff helps you sleep. I want to get in on some of that cultivation of that. Somebody's having to grow that stuff. Yeah, yeah. I was talking. I was talking to a dude earlier today about that. Um, about um, the um, dispensaries, where that um, you know they're they're all illegal here in uh, Toronto. But um, you have to go to, I forget what he called them. Uh, he called them uh, LPs or something, licensed, um, something where that they can, you know, they, they can grow. I don't know. I don't know anything yeah. about it. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> well, up I've, here in Canada, medical marijuana has been around for over 10 years. Yeah. Right? yeah. And yeah. they all had uh, grow licenses. Yeah, you, yeah. You, uh, just, you don't have to keep saying, yeah, Dennis, it cuts me off. <laughs> right? Sorry, just, just just listen. Yeah, we had a talk about you today, me and Steve, and you've got to stop that stuff. Like, uh, <laughs> That's all. And people had grow licenses, and then, I don't know, five years ago or so, the government cha- said that they weren't going to let people grow it at home anymore, and you had to buy it from licensed grow operations, which were 
appointed by the government, right? And everybody was up in arms, and it turned out that you had to pay about $5 a gram for this pot that come from these government-sponsored grow houses. And it was already all ground up, so it had stock, leaf, and everything in it. And the quality was shitty, and they wanted $5 a gram. When the guys that were growing it themselves at home were doing it for around a dollar seventy-five or two, and they were, you know what I mean. And anyway, it went back to court, the Supreme Court, and the government lost, so they're all allowed to grow their own dope again. So, long story short, I don't know. Have you ever tried? Has anybody ever mentioned smoking marijuana to you, Andy? I know I tried that crap. <laughs> you know what? I tried it, Andy, and I didn't like I've it. I never tried that crap, <laughs> <laughs> Andy. I tried it, and I almost ate myself to death. And then I uh, tried a brownie, and it freaked me out really bad. And it burned my throat. I hated it. Burned my throat. Yeah, when I smoked it, it made me it gave me a sore throat. Well, if you're not a smoker, yeah, for sure. Hmm. Jesus, this put you. hot smoke down your throat. That's gonna, yeah. it's gonna I sort some shit up. I and I, then I tried a marijuana, uh, not a brownie, but a chocolate, and I took the whole thing, like a, a little cube of chocolate. I ate it all up, and I thought this is not doing anything. And then about an hour and a half, maybe two hours later, oh man. I, I was like, I had to get to bed. My body was like, I was just unaware of what my body was doing. You know. Just, yeah, eating it's a way different buzz than smoking it. It can get a little trippy in the mind because your your liver processes it a little different. And, and uh, okay, who's eating something on on this thing? Who's eating something? Debbie. Nope, I'm on mute. I'm on. I stay on mute unless I'm talking. Oh, okay. It sounded like a good piece of candy. I think okay. it was Joe. Me. <laughs> I don't eat candy. Really? I miss candy. I miss eating candy. I love candy, but I can't eat it anymore. You don't eat candy at all? No, I just eat icing cream. Oh, I miss that too. I love uh, frosted icing and ice cream and donuts. I just threw some donuts away because I ate some uh, yesterday and it made me feel like awful shit. I like eclairs for as far as donuts go. I'm, I'm all about the eclairs. I can't talk uh, about sugar anymore. Sugar's killing me. Me too. Me too. I'm not kidding. It is killing me. It's killing all of us. The sugar's delicious. But it, it doesn't matter. It's killing us. Yeah. It is. I've been doing my lo a lot of research on it, and it is absolutely killing this country. It's killing the world. It's killing the world. What? Everything yeah. has sugar in it. Everything has sugar in it. And it is so, so bad for us. It's horrible. Horrible. What's Andy think about sugar? Well, Andy, do you like donuts, Andy? Stop. Rarely I eat my donuts. Rarely I get donuts. But yeah, sugar is bad for you. It is. Mm -hmm. Is there any so, sugar? You, yeah. Because you, you, you look like you love candy, Andy. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I do love candy, but you know what? I don't eat it every single day. It's bad for you, like Debbie Daly said. It's horrible. It's horrible. I'm telling you, it will kill you. It is going to kill me. It makes me so tired that I can't even function. That's what it does to me. It makes me so lethargic that it is, it's unbelievable. Me too. Does it make you tired too? <clears throat> oh, fuck yeah, dude. I want to go into a coma and get on dialysis. Well, I don't know about going into a coma, but I can feel it in every muscle in my body. It's like I'm just made of mud or something. I feel so bad. On a night... On a day after I've had a lot of sugar the day before, 
I just want to kill myself. I've been watching all of these these documentaries on uh, sugar being toxic and stuff. And I want to show y'all one, okay? It's, just, it's only three minutes long. Listen to this, okay? It's called Death by Candy. I think this is it. Okay, here we go. Today, we're talking about the sweetest poison of them all. No, not love. Gross. I'm talking about sugar. They say girls are made of sugar and spice and everything nice, but I have news for you. Sugar doesn't love you. Don't get me wrong. It's delicious and your brain practically runs on it, so some sugar is fine, but it's the extra added sugar that's bad. All the stuff you're getting from brownies, cupcakes, ho-hos, and edible body chocolate. Edible body chocolate? Damn, you really are a ho-ho. Oh, she's being stupid. Never mind. What an idiot. You really are a ho-ho. This is another one that's better than that. I'm sorry. There's been a lot of talk lately about sugar being bad for you, which is a bummer because sugar is the best, right? I mean, who doesn't like sweetness? You can hate on any other taste and it's totally understandable. Bitterness, sourness, saltiness, umami. Yeah, that's right. Umami. Apparently it's a taste. What did I just do? Go away. I just accidentally clicked something wrong. What did I do? Debbie, are you smoking you pot? No, I'm not. Not everyone loves it. But sugar, pretty much everyone likes the sweet, sweet taste of sugar. But now some scientists are saying sugar is up. toxic. Really, look, it scientists? Runs away. When I try to blow Can it you up, just look? When I try to blow it up, it runs away. Wait. Look, it won't let me blow it up. Look. I was look. watching it, Debbie. It's look okay. What's it's doing, though. It's, going, it's doing something stupid. We'll just have the to watch it like this. The other way on this one, we all know that sugar isn't the healthiest thing. But it's not dangerous, right? Well, it turns out that it totally can be. Here's a sad statistic. For the first time in history, U.S. children are not expected to live longer than their parents. Why? A lot of it has to do with the fact that cases of obesity, type 2 diabetes, and heart disease are through the roof. There's another sad statistic. Today, one out of every three U.S. adults is obese. Not overweight, obese, one in three. But what does this have to do with sugar? Sugar's been around forever, so why is it suddenly making us so sick? What changed? What changed is we dramatically increased the amount of fructose we consume. Fructose is the sweet stuff that's in sugar and high fructose corn syrup, sugar's newer and cheaper twin. Fructose can do damage to your body in ways we are just beginning to understand. What kind of damage? Let's start with the nerdiest part of the body, the brain. Just recently, scientists discovered a hormone called leptin. Leptin's job is to tell your brain that your body's had enough to eat. Guess what gets in the way of that job? Sugar. When you indulge in soft drinks and junk food, your brain has a hard time recognizing leptin, so you stay hungry longer and eat more than you should. This causes problems with your pancreas. Your pancreas produces insulin, which helps regulate your blood sugar. The more sugar you have in your bloodstream, the harder your pancreas has to work. And an overworked pancreas can lead to bad things. Obesity, metabolic syndrome, and type 2 diabetes. And when you consider heart disease and liver disease, both of which can be caused by sugar, then yeah, sugar is bad. Okay cut down on the sweets, right? Not as easy as it sounds. High fructose corn syrup is now added to foods that never had sugar before, food you wouldn't expect. In fact, a recent study found that 80% of the food items in America now contain added sugar, 80%. But like a good raincoat, this trend is reversible. Educated consumers can change the way food is manufactured simply by making better choices. Food companies only make what we buy, right? So avoiding food and drinks with added sugar will force the food industry to produce healthier food and stop adding sugar. But we have to start now because sugar is killing us. Ta-da! See what I mean? It's killing us. That guy looked like me, like just <laughs> getting like more and more tired. I remember one time I was at a Chinese uh, uh, food place. And uh, I had a, my double big gulp, and 
all my, like the uh, noodles and the everything else, and then I had some donuts, and I, I just felt terrible. That's when I first became diabetic. Yeah. It's horrible. It will kill you. And, and the thing about it is, is people think that fat makes us fat, consuming fat. No, it's consuming sugar that makes you fat. Your body needs fat. And back in the 80s, I think, they uh, they went on this no-fat kick. All of the companies went, no fat, low fat, no fat. And they said, only eat this many fat grams a day. And what they did is they replaced everything that had low fat. They packed it full of sugar. And sugar is what makes you fat. It's not fat. Like you can eat fat foods that are high in fat content and not get fat. But if you start eating sugar, you'll get fat. It depends on what type of fat. Like you can eat good fats and bad fats, right? Like I don't know. That's not what I heard because I thought the same thing. I thought, wait a minute, that's not right. That I mean, you can you can't have polyunsaturated fats or all this kind of stuff, and that's apparently not true. Okay, can I attack this video, please? Do what? Can I attack this video, please? Can you touch the video? Well, I'm sorry, I didn't understand. Attack! attack. He said attack. Oh, okay. Thank you. <clears throat> anyway, okay. This video is is stupid. No, it's not. Of, it's yes, the truth. It it's no, stupid. it's not. It's the truth, Andy. It's stupid to me because people are scared of getting fat. Okay, who gives a rip? Exercise. That's why they. No, that's not true. If you exercise, a lot of times it will not come off of you. If you are eating that much sugar, it is a. By, it's a metabolical situation that you get into. And I'm not trying to be an asshole. I'm just telling you the truth. I've done my research on it. You can do every. You can do as much research as you want every daily. And I'm trying not to be an asshole either. But you're wrong. You are totally wrong. That's it. Why is Joe calling in? I guess he got off the um, call. How do I add you, Joe? Where did he go? Joe, you're he on the said- call. <clears throat> Joe, I can't add you because you're on the call. Joe? 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 Joey, Joey. He must have accidentally dropped or something. He did drop. Joe? Joe? Something's What's up with Skype? I hate Skype. It's so screwed up. Because people, people can... Um, they can DDoS you on Skype. It's probably the Jew because he's awfully quiet tonight. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, did you hear what's going on at UC Berkeley? Yes, you tell me. <coughs> who just dropped? I think just it was... missed just... him. Missed who? Joe. He was just trying to call back again. Well, he's on the call. I can't add him because he's on the call. It's impossible. Now he disappeared. Now he's going to come back. Let me reset Skype and see what happens. I think it might be my Skype. Everybody hang up. Okay. Okay, here we go. Hold on. Stop. Just give me one. Stop calling for one second, everybody. Stop. Don't call for one second. I'm going to close Skype and reopen Skype. I just closed it because my whole computer is acting stupid right now. So it's probably you know who attacking. <clears throat> I can't scroll down on anything. I can't do anything on um, Chrome. It's acting wanky. So hold on, everybody. Let me see what's going on. <sighs> this happens all the time. Oh wow! No wonder everything I have is open. Uh, let's let's close that iTunes, let's close messages, let's close preview, let's close text edit, let's close Mac Warrior, and let's close, God, I, had, I think everything I had is open, <clears throat> excuse me, but I still can't, I need to reset Chrome, and if I reset Chrome, it might throw me off the show, if it, tro- if it throws me off the show, I'll come right back on, because It'll keep my, just, just bear with me. You're probably going to lose the feed for a minute, but it's going to.